Hey guys, you're watching video 80, and if you are thinking about renovating your property prior to selling, you should watch this video first. I'm often asked about property renovations and immediate ROI, and the people that ask these questions, they wanna know how much more can they sell their property for because they've redone their kitchen. And the issue here is there are so many variables that must be taken into consideration when conducting a property valuation that it's just not that simple. Now, some of these variables include anything and everything from the sheer living square footage of the property, bedrooms and bathrooms, how large is the lot, uh, how many garage spaces are there? Is there a pool? Is the property waterfront? Things like these are really going to impact the property's value. Now, when it comes into a renovated property versus an unrenovated property, that's where it gets a little tricky. Without going into too much detail about appraisals, an appraiser, not only are they looking at all of that other stuff, but they also are selecting a rating for a condition and quality code for the property. Now, in short, what this really means is that if a subject property is renovated, it should only be compared to other properties that have been renovated and vice versa. Are you following? So essentially appraisers are confined by the boundaries of not only the property size, but also the condition and quality. And this is a very similar approach that I took today to figure out exactly how much more are renovated properties selling versus their counterparts that are not renovated. If you're ready, I'm gonna walk you through the process and I'm gonna give you the numbers. Step one was to analyze all the recent sales and scroll through and look for neighborhoods that had a high volume of closings. Step two, once the communities were identified, I went through and grouped the properties based on their living square footage, the parking situation, and whether or not the property had a pool. And once I had the group, it was time to step three, which was score. Swish. Now, when I was going through and scoring each property, I was looking for two primary metrics. One, I was looking if the property was renovated or not, and two, how quickly did the property close? I went through each property in every single community, took notes, and that leads us to step four, maths. Now, after conducting my maths, it turns out that the properties that were renovated sold for, on average, 22% more than their counterparts that were not renovated. Additionally, in two out of the three communities, the properties sold for 49% days fewer than those that were not renovated. Now, in the third community where the properties were on the market a little bit longer than their counterparts that were not renovated, this is because it's a market where the average price point is around $160,000 to $170,000 for the property. So even though these renovated properties were able to achieve 27% more for the renovated or the flipped property in some instances, they sat on the market a little bit longer. I hope you guys found this video helpful and the way that you can use this information is to look in your community for a property that recently sold that was not renovated. We need something that's similar in size and amenities to your property and go ahead and tack on around 20% on that sales price and that's generally in the range of what you should be able to get for your property. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments section. Other than that, you know the drill. I'll see you next Monday.